You have been under the tutelage of great and well-known college basketball coaches, including Bob Knight and Sean Miller. What is one thing from each of them that you apply to your coaching? Well, Coach Knight, preparation was everything for Coach Knight. He would always say the war is won before it's even fought. And his daily preparation, preparing a team for a game, was the best I've ever seen. And we really utilize those techniques with our team. And then with Coach Miller, it's on building a comprehensive system. He is the total package, both offensively, defensively, teaching on a daily basis, skill development work, and that's what I've brought here to Santa Barbara. You have a proven track record of developing NBA caliber players, including three recent lottery picks, such as Aaron Gordon, who plays for the Orlando Magic right now, Stanley Johnson, who went to the Detroit Pistons, and Laurie Markkinen. What do you look for in a star athlete? I think all three of those guys have one really, really important thing in common. They love the game. They're in the gym so much that as a coach, we have to kick them out of the gym because they just want to get better. And their drive and hunger, and then finally their motor. Aaron Gordon, Lowry, and Stanley all have an incredible motor to play very, very hard. And motor, love the game, those are two really big deals for us and when we're evaluating a player. You have a great history of recruiting phenomenal athletes, both internationally and nationally. You were key to recruiting Laurie Markkinen from Finland, who is now a rookie starting for the Chicago Bulls. With the high standards you have for the basketball program, plus the attraction of UCSB being in one of the most beautiful cities in the world, can we get top level players here? We have that in our recruiting class because we have such a prestigious academic institution. To get a degree from the number eight public university is like getting a financial insurance policy for the rest of your life. Both academics, the setting of Santa Barbara on the ocean, and also the opportunity to play immediately. Uh, I think that we can beat some Pac-12 schools for high-level players. Our fans are eager to see what style of basketball you will roll out this year. How would you describe what they can expect to see? We have some really talented players. I think we're an offensive-oriented team. We can score at the one through the five, and in our exhibition game, we scored 92 points. We want to be a fast-paced style of play, pressure, man-to-man -man defense, forcing turnovers, and really having an exciting brand of basketball here. Let's talk about our roster. Last year, several key players missed most of our last season, including the leader, Gabe Vincent, who was expected to carry a heavy load. This year, Vincent is back at full strength, as well as both players, Canty and Ami. You now have three key pieces back. How will they contribute and what have you added to aid these players? We're really excited about our roster this year. We've added two graduate transfers who are immediately eligible and Marcus Jackson and Leland King. Marcus can play immediately. He'll be our starting point guard. He graduated from Rice and will be in graduate school this year as our point guard. He averaged double figures for two years in a row at Rice made two threes a game, so he can really shoot the ball. He's a 6'3", bigger point guard. Leland King is a transfer from Nevada. The year before, he was at Brown University, where he averaged 14 points and eight rebounds a game. He'll play the four and the three fours, the forward position. And then having Gabe Vincent back is really exciting. He's worked so hard over the past nine months rehabbing his knee from an ACL injury. And he's back ready to go for us, along with Jalen Canty and Ami Lakoju. We're excited to have their size back. Uh, Jalen Canty's lost 30 pounds, so he'll be a force, I think, inside. And Max Heidegger is a sophomore now. Christian Terrell, a sophomore, and Cliff Powell, a sophomore. They all were freshmen last year. I think your hardest year is your freshman year, and they've all really improved. So we're excited about our roster. UCSB basketball has a great history with many players who have made a name for themselves in the game. How do you feel about becoming a gaucho? I can't tell you how excited I am to be a gaucho, uh, spending a lot of time with Jerry Pym and learning about how successful he was beating UNLV in 1990 with Carrick DeHart and the freeze. That was just such an incredible moment here for gaucho basketball. But Alan Williams and Orlando Johnson, two guys that we've met, and uh, Orlando just spoke to our team about what it takes to be successful. Orlando Johnson, the leading scorer in the history of this school, went to back-to-back -to -back NCAA tournaments and was drafted in the NBA. And he, he made such a great impression on our players last week speaking to them. But I'm so excited to be a gaucho and to continue this great tradition.